Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jayco and welcome back to some more GTA 6 concepts. And today we're going to be talking about the possibility of single player co-op, Rockstar, or any sort of leaks have not announced or shown anything off, but I would just like to talk about it today and the possibility of it. If you guys want to talk about any more concepts, leave that down below with a comment. And there will also be a playlist link down below if you want to see any of the previous or future episodes of GTA 6 concepts. But let's hop right into it. As we know from the past September leaks back in 2022, pretty far away now. But one of the things we learned is that there's going to be a main male and female protagonist. Now, I think Rockstar kind of did this on purpose. You guys may or may not remember that back in the contract DLC for GTA Online, the return of Franklin and Lamar was present. They got a bunch of cool cutscenes, dialogue. We got to see where our beloved characters were almost eight or nine years later, however long it was. And we got a pretty cool mission chain, which I believe was three or four missions where we played as Franklin and Lamar, where we could play online with one other friend in a two-player cooperative mode, where it was pretty much like a regular GTA Online mission, but there was dialogue, there was funny jokes and stuff said along the way you did the mission, and it was really, really fun, and a lot of people liked it, and it was one of my favorite parts of the contract DLC, which was a fantastic DLC overall. Like I said, there's no guarantee, but that we can only hope. There's been a lot of popular games that have also been really mainly two-player co-op based. You think of any Saints Row game in the past two, three, four, has always been two-player co-op, though there wasn't two main characters, there was two of your own created characters. We also had titles like It Takes Two, made by EA, and as well as A Way Out, where you played as two prisoners, two criminals, and you had to work together as a team. Now that was really cooperatively, like, kind of puzzle strategy sort of game, I guess you could call it, where you had to really do puzzles and traverse things together as a team. I don't think it'll be to that extent, but I think it'll be something that we saw, like, in Frank Lamar's missions in the Contract DLC. It's something that we've always missed from the Grand Theft Auto franchise, other than really GTA San Andreas, the OG version, where you could play like a sort of local co-op thing. It was not the greatest, but it was really cool at the time, and it was definitely ahead of its time for sure. But it was CJ as the host and the other cooperative player joining would just be some random woman or guy. So I think definitely expanding on that and making a two player single player co-op would be really really cool and really possible. Because like I said before, there might be a real reason why Jason Lucia, two main protagonists, is only totaled at two instead of three or four. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like Rockstar is going to surprise us with something along the lines of some sort of single player co-op DLC. Maybe it's only a few missions, or maybe it's one or two robberies you could go on. Maybe it's not just full on free mode and full on missions you could do as a cooperative session, but maybe just a few things you could do here and there similar to the Franklin. And Lamar missions. There's nothing more I would love to do than to hop on GTA 6 for the very first time and be able to experience that with a friend or a family member I think would be really really awesome because if Rockstar repeats what they've done in the past well 10 years now with GTA 5 and Red Dead 2 online might not come out until weeks or even months after the release of GTA 6 and single player might be the only thing we have for a while so keep that in mind and I think that's a real real possibility so maybe having some sort of cooperative mode with Lucy and Jason with one other friend or family member would be awesome and maybe give us a little taste of what online could be like cooperative heists maybe uh, driving maybe there's some new mechanics that we can experience through that and tutorials and that sort of thing I would really really like to see that and let's say Rockstar does go the route of single player first and online later it's honestly really smart because you'll be able to show off some of the new mechanics at a much slower pace you're not thrown into a world where you gotta guess or figure out things on your own you get some tutorials you learn some new mechanics you learn how robberies work you learn how gunplay works movement in that sort of thing and it actually has been done recently and it was actually pretty ingenious of call of duty modern warfare 2 to actually release campaign a week before multiplayer came out modern warfare 2 did this thing where if you pre-order the game you were able to actually play the game's entire campaign a week before multiplayer came out now call of duty is mostly a multiplayer competitive shooting first person shooting game so campaign is usually ignored 
pretty often by most of the Call of Duty community. I am one of the people that will enjoy the single player from time to time, but I've never been a person that has always jumped into it right away. Though the stories aren't as long or as nearly fleshed out as the Grand Theft Auto series, it still takes time and money, and make the developers kind of forcing the community to play it was kind of genius. But making it come out before multiplayer, essentially forcing people to try out the new guns, see how the game looks, look at the attachments, and get a feel for what the game could be in a much slower tutorial fashion, or, or well, story fashion I should say, was really really good for the game's release and launch and popularity overall. And you may remember a bunch of memes of the campaign came out, like the ghost meme and the really attractive cartel woman was all over the internet before the game even technically came out. And it was people were pre-ordering the game, people were, you know, pressured into buying it because of all the things they were seeing on the social medias. And I would not be surprised if Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto 6 did this as well. Because even a lot of people right now that are playing GTA Online have never actually played the GTA 5 story. And that took a, like a billion dollars to make or some crazy number that Rockstar took a ton of time. People and actors had to do thousands of lines of dialogue and acted out the scenes in multiple ways. So many hours and time and money and resources were put into these story modes that aren't even really played anymore by new players coming to the game. GTA Online, yes, makes the most money overall. But if you're forced to play the single player that did have a lot of time and resources to be made and you're kind of forced into it at first because online isn't out is kind of genius and, and we've seen Call of Duty do it recently and Rockstar do it in the past and it's really really worked. But that's really all I have to say for single player co-op DLC and even the possibility of online coming out later than single player. I think that is definitely going to stay true. The co-op single player with Lucy and Jason having a co-op friend being able to play as one of those characters. I think that's definitely still up in the air. But who knows, maybe Roxer can surprise us. Of course, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And also let me know what other concepts you guys would like to hear next. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.